I'm Steph Hendel. I am going to tell you three ways to break an unhealthy habit today. Can't wait to talk to you about this. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am a consistency coach and a healthy habit trainer. I help you shift your mindset. I work with people who have done diet and fitness programs and either never gotten results or got results and then gain the weight back. So what's going on there is the mindset. So it's not just you, you already know what you should eat. You already know how you should work out. What's not going on is you don't have the correct neural pathways to allow you to do that or you have a block that's in the way. So that's what I teach. That's what I do. That's what I'm super passionate about. Um, but today I'm joining you from Newport Beach, California. It's super hot out and this is important information. So I'm recording this video regardless and then I'm going to go sit in the nice cool AC. But the top three tips for breaking an unhealthy habit, I have my notes here just so you know, guys aren't like, what's she looking at down there? Um, top three tips to break an unhealthy habit. We all have unhealthy habits. It's just a matter of, oh look, at, I love how you can see things going on in the reflection back there. Okay, cool. We all have unhealthy habits. Everybody does. But do you take time to break them? Do you take time to replace them with a healthy habit? If you don't, you should be because you have unlimited potential. You're so full of the possibilities to create anything. Uh, there's so many opportunities available for you and I hate to see people just wasting them by carrying on bad unhealthy habits. So these are three things that you can do right now to start doing that. Um, first one, talk to yourself. What does that mean? No, not like crazy person talk to yourself, but you have to get to know yourself. A lot of us don't have any idea who we are. Uh, we don't know about our own selves. I can totally attest to that myself. Um, over the last couple of years, I've gotten to know myself really, really well, which has been one of the coolest experiences of my life and one of the most fulfilling things, one of the things most missing for me. Um, discovering myself and learning who I really am has been beyond powerful for my life. Um, but you gotta just sit down and talk to you. Um, these unhealthy habits, they're happening for a reason. And if you understand what your triggers are from your past, you know, we all have things that happen to us as children and as we grow up and they create how we feel about certain things. And a lot of us, like in my programs, one thing we really talk about is uh, your mom and your dad and their beliefs about their bodies. Uh, their beliefs about nutrition, health, and fitness. And um, that corresponds a lot to how you feel about it. So um, take yourself back. Take yourself back through um, what healthy food is to you and what working out means to you. They have really bad associations in your mind. Do you think like, oh, I hate going to the gym. I hate working out. Or do you think, oh, I hate eating healthy food. It sucks. It's not fun. It's not tasty. Well, Somebody who has a very fit and healthy body, they have very different associations than that. They've taught themselves to associate something very positive with going to the gym, with eating healthy food. I can tell you that uh, my associations to working out, I cannot wait to get to the gym. I look forward to it every day. Um, and that's not how it always was. Sometimes I, in the past, I just hated the thought of it. But I changed my association. This is something all of us have the power to do in any moment change your associations. Um, it's amazing. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's move on to number two. Redirect your focus. So what you focus on, you get. So if you're focusing on the negative of it, you're gonna get more negative. If you focus on the positive, you will get more positive. So change your focus from this unhealthy habit and how it's not serving you and how it's, it's um, not positive for your life and redirect it to how it can be positive, how it can be a great thing. Let me give you a very quick example. I tell everybody in my, um, my programs about this one, but when I was living at home with my parents um, back in the day, I, they asked me to mow the lawn as like a chore. And I hated mowing the lawn. I thought it sucked. And it was like the last thing I wanted to do. I'd get sweaty. I felt like I was wasting my time. I could be using it more effectively. I didn't like doing it. I felt like it was kind of a manly job to do, which I just made up that association in my mind. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna practice what I preach and apply what I believe that you can change a habit that you don't like to something that you do. And so I sat down and I thought about it and I realized, hey, 
I could use that time I'm mowing the lawn to listen to an audiobook that's going to really benefit me and make me a better person, something on personal development. So I'm using that time wisely. It's a great time. It's an hour that I look forward to that I can progress myself. Um, I looked at, at it as a great workout instead of just getting sweaty. I was like, cool, this is an hour towards me moving my body, being healthier, being more fit. And then I said, whatever, I'm gonna make it a girly thing. So I'm gonna wear my cute pink sports bra, I'm gonna mow the lawn. And it sounds so silly and stupid, but it really just made a big difference for me. And I was like, this, and I just rearranged my thoughts. I said, is mowing the lawn a manly thing? No, it's actually not. It's just something I decided at one point, and it's not true. So I broke that. And I moved in the fact that anybody, you know, girly, manly, whatever, mowing the lawn is just a fun thing to do. So I started, instead of saying, oh, I hate mowing the lawn, I was like, I can't look, I can't wait to mow the lawn. I progress in it and I move forward and it became something fun that I really did look forward to. So that's how, I, oh, there's something I look forward to, that phase. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Hi so there. for anybody who doesn't know, this is my fiance, Josh Tarnofsky. Hello. Um, he is awesome. And it's going to get a little really noisy nice. with this truck yeah. over here, but I'm going into my third way to break an unhealthy habit. Are you excited? Mm, I'm excited. You can, have you already talked about changing your focus? Because like this truck's pretty That's appropriate. That's what I just oh. finished talking about. Do you want to add something? I don't know what I was just thinking about before this, but now I'm thinking about this truck and it worked perfectly. Oh. So yeah, just change whatever focus. I thought, yeah. Oh, so you're <laughs> talking about how you would really just take your mind from thinking about something bad to just mm -hmm. thinking about something awesome. Just whatever else happened right there. A truck just totally shifted my mind. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. I thought maybe that was the one you're on. I was going to say, what a it perfect was. transition. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. We're going on to our third third one now, which is cool. analyze the why. Ooh. Ooh. That's deep. Yeah, I know. This is a deep one. What's and the I don't meaning want of this. life? What's, wait, what's the meaning oh. of life? Let's talk about the meaning of life. Do we have another three hours for this video, man? I say so. <laughs> Let's do it. Continue to be continued in another video. The meaning of life. Um, so analyzing the why to break an unhealthy habit. Mm. This, as Josh said, it's deep. It takes yeah. some time, um, but you're figuring out, and it ties in with the very first one, which is learning about yourself, learning about you. Um, and understanding why you want to keep that unhealthy habit because if you're doing it it's somehow serving you in some way and that's the truth yeah um, sometimes we do things for crazy reasons and uh, sometimes we keep an unhealthy habit because it gives us attention and we feel a need to have more attention that's just one example of what it could be sometimes so we don't even know we just don't even know that we're doing it yeah that's another you know? like because you don't even know why you might be reactive to something. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what I always find. I just played the why game. I'm like, why? <laughs> Answer why that. Game. Then I say, why? Answer that. And I say, why? Answer that. And then I finally get to the, each layer of the onion mm. until I realize that one of those whys that I answered to doesn't make any sense Damn. or doesn't even benefit me. Yeah. You know? And it's usually like, why did I just eat that whole entire cake? Yeah. But why did I eat a pizza to myself? Yeah. You know, it's a, and I'm saying, well, well, because it looked amazing, or I really felt like I needed it, and then I say, why? And then I think to myself, that next why, well, I only thought I needed it because I was fearful that I wasn't going to either have a meal tomorrow, mm. or maybe I was starving myself from pizza and cake and all that fun stuff, mm, and so then so I would start eating, yeah, and I didn't even realize it. Or maybe, um, you know, as a kid, I used to eat whole pizzas that made me feel good, and mm. so, you know, there's all these, like, weird little triggers or things that are that are um, kind of stuck underneath the surface that we don't think about we just do robotically or we're just not aware we're doing it so I just keep mm -hmm. asking the why especially yeah. when you're mad at somebody it's a good thing to keep going back <laughs> why 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 until you finally realize so true. you're only mad at, at yourself for not being proactive enough to actually communicate right you're never mad at the other person you're mad at you <laughs> and that's something to come to terms with too because as soon as you do that your life becomes much happier and you can say, okay, well then let me fix this in me. And then mm -hmm. I can go on and have a great time and be in love with that person. <laughs> yeah. You know, cause the only thing keeping us from being in love with everybody we meet is that um, we're triggered by something in them that's in us. If you can't solve it, just pick them up. <laughs> 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 All right, I gotta go. Oh, See you. Have fun. Gosh. Okay, well that is wrapping everything up. So just to recap everything, um, talk to yourself, get to know yourself, ask yourself questions, 
um, and redirect your focus and analyze your why. Understand your why. So what is your why? All right, really glad you guys watched. Um, I wanna let you know that I have an eight week uh, Body Built by Love nutrition and fitness guide. I also have a seven day one too, but I really want y'all to check it out. I think it's really important to make sure you have the foundation um, set strong for yourself so you know what to eat, how much to eat, um, how you can work out. These are all things based off of love, not fear, guilt, judgment, or any other thing that normally goes along with eating or workouts for somebody especially who doesn't know uh, how to get the workouts to work and benefit their body or the food to work and benefit their body. It's so, so, so important that you just really get to know the, uh, the keys and that's what I lay out in these programs. So I want you to try it, give it a go. Um, and if you're interested in more in-depth coaching, I have programs for that too. And I'd love to see you in those. So hope you're having an amazing day. Make sure you go to my website, stephhendel.com and subscribe to my email newsletter because I will be sending out all four videos in this three top three training series. I've done four of them so far. So um, make sure you get those. And I just hope you have an amazing day. I know great things are about to happen for you. It is getting so hot. I hope you can't see me sweating. Actually, I don't care if you see me sweating, but I got like sweaty brow going on right now. So I'm gonna get inside. Anyway, love y'all. Have the best day ever. See ya.